what's good everyone welcome back to the channel 10t neon prime here and we have another review yes we do we have a review this time on legacy evolution beach comer and paradise parakeet yes you hear me right paradise parakeet but before we get started into this lovely uh review i would like to thank all my subscribers that subscribe to me I'm up to a thousand and twenty some subscribers I like to thank y'all very much for that um, and also for that we're going to do a little giveaway and the giveaway is going to consist of Mr. Swoop and Mr. Scar core class um, to enter this giveaway i would like for y'all for the for one i like for y'all to like and subscribe to the channel to all my new subscribers like and subscribe um to all my old sus subscribers there's gonna be a way for y'all to get into this i would like for y'all to comment down below in this video um why she, why would you want Scar and Swoop? Maybe because you don't have them yet. Maybe you uh, been looking for them for a minute. Maybe some orders got canceled, um, and you can't, or you just can't find them in your local Target or whatnot. So here's your chance to win, Mr. Swoop and Mr. Scar. Uh, so let's let's get this up to. Let's get this video up to 100 likes, at least 100 likes. Um, I'll, like I said, just like, subscribe, um, comment down below. Why will you want Swoop and Mr. Scar? And just that simple, all right? Um, then I will get in contact with that person. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw your name, y'all names out of a, uh, bucket or whatever then I will the lucky winner I will get in contact with that lucky winner via email so make sure y'all have a valid email and um, first I will contact you on your YouTube channel then I will get a I will need your email so we can communicate to get these lovely core class items to y'all. All right, so now let's get back to the video. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about the box art. All right, box art, we have Mr. Beach Comer on the front and his vehicle mode, Transformer Evolution, lovely artwork. And we have Mr. Paradise Parakeet flying, flying right beside Mr. Beach Comer alone to go into battle we have beats coming here on the side have beats coming here in alt mode alt mode re, um and um robot mode then check this out the evolution that went to the point where evo evolution went to the point where oh they can hold it in the gun but i want to think that's a misprint because i think the gun is the evo fusion is meant for the car all right then we have this artwork here on the back we have uh, lovely information on the top we have this uh, scan code right here so you gotta take a minute to scan that you want to scan that with your phone all right and that's enough for the box out right, let's bring in mr. beach comber first off, I would like to say about mr. beach comber that the plastic is done very very well uh, with this wave 3 it looks like the Evo fusion it's just like I said, just for holding the gun in his hand, which I think that's a misprint. It's, I, I mean, obviously they can hold the gun in the hand. Um, he is a new mode for this Legacy Wave Three, um, and everything. So, and like I said, the plastic feel good. The panels on him are a little smoother, so that's a plus. You have. No hollow parts except for right up in here, and everything. Uh, so that's about it. And of course, usually where the thigh swivel is at and everything. Um, the blue looks good. I will put a image of him 
right here so y'all can see how he looks with his uh, G1 cartoon self looking very 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 well um, so let's go over how he looks up front first we have the nice silver mask looking real good even though I have a little dent right here like you being you know you know somebody punched him in the face you know when they fighting at the Golden Lagoon okay we got nice blue this is none of this is painted except for the chest plate paint chest plate and with the silver and the gun metal in the middle and down here the bottom right here where the blue and the yellow and the red is at rest of this is uh, gray paint and everything I think the color of them and uh, the cartoon was he was white a little white up in here so everything nice paint here on the shins this is the blue is just a molded plastic and we here have on the back so looking very very G1 style looking real good alright so from there let's go over articulations he has a shoulder that can go high as far as high it is um, also can do a rotation and get a bend right at 90 head can do a left and right it can look up a little bit it can look down a little bit high kick in the front we got a high kick in the back we had a knee bend in the back and he can never about kick himself in the head right back here with that knee bend there we have a thigh swivel also we have a ankle tilt on a pin not a rocker but on on a pin um, some articulations here in the where the railing is at and on the back side of it, I like the way they hid the road cage here along his back looking I like that how they did that and everything um, and a plus we have all four wheels pinned and we have rubber on the tires rubber for tires I like that Hasbro keep doing this keep doing this bring bring rubber tires back to us we need rubber tires on our vehicles on our robots so yes bring that all back to us all right so that's about it for that and let's go over his accessories his first accessory is his gun and the Evo Fusion saying that we are going to bring his gun and BAM we have e Evo Fusion which I know that can't be right <laughs> so yeah that's funny and the gun is pretty much painted up in a shiny black and like I have a little bit of wear of paint already on mine um also it's made to look like guess what a bumper so i think that's where the evo fusion comes about and we have mr paradise parakeet yes he is a little tiny thing and he's nothing but rubber but you can post him here on his shoulder but if you're gonna really post this guy up i think you should really post him if y'all gonna pose him and everything, and because he will, he won't fling off of here, but you got a better chance of losing him. But he can fit inside a five millimeter port, and you can plug him in. Now, plug him in right here. Now he don't want to go in, and there you go. And he is nothing but rubber, so he can plug right into spot right there all right so we're going to get into some size comparisons all right first up for height comparison we're going to bring in evolution legacy uh cosmos had a brain fart there <laughs> and we're going to bring in masterpiece bumblebee which I think they pair in 
pretty well with that. We got our core class Volcanus. You see how it sides up with the core class Volcanus. And we're going to have Siege, Wolf of Cybertron, Optimus Prime. For some good old time stuff, we're going to bring in 19, eight, I think he is 84, original G1 Beats Comer. So, let's bring these guys in so y'all can really see how they mount it put together. So, you can see here, they pretty much are close, right on point. The blues, the grays. Back then when they were putting rubber wheels on everything. Hasbro keep going. You don't you're going in a good spot here. The difference is where we have the road cage is pretty much different. Where the road cage is here, which I might paint that road cage black since the G1 is black. So this is pretty much the closest to the G1 you can get with this beach comb. Looking very good. Alright. Transformation. Alright, get down to transformation. It can't be no simpler than almost close to G1 status. So <laughs> we're gonna take go right here in the back. First we're gonna build up the road cage. Bring the road cage up. Easier said than done. So bring up road cage. There you go. Bring it up. And what we're gonna do is pull the body up like so tabs here on the side bring it in tab it in like so same on the other side like that then we're going to turn around we're going to bring these seats down And the road cage, bring all that forward, just like that. Bring the seats down. Then we're gonna take all the flaps, open them up. We're gonna take one at a time and bring it in. We have a tab here. We're gonna tab into there, like so. Same thing with this one. Tab it in. Then we're going to take the two front halves, bring them together, like so. Take the two uh, pieces of the road cage, make sure we got them tabbed in. Then we're going to take the little tabs here on the bottom of the chairs. So we're going to go, go ahead and push them in. You hear them go with that satisfying tab. And then we're gonna take right here, bring the road cage together. I like really like how they split this road cage, make it come in a two th a three piece setup. And from there we're gonna take that, fold them back in, and we're gonna Evo Fusion. Take this peg here, peg it into the front, and these two pegs here we're gonna peg right here into the bottom of the gun. So right here. Pay that in like so and there we have Mr. Beachcomber in his robot I mean his vehicle mode which is looking looking very good and if you want to take Mr. Paradise Parrot here he can peg into the port here and there he go and right there on the uh, side of Mr. Beachcomber. All right, so let's go to the detailing of Mr. Beachcomber. He have a diamond plate here on the side, which is painted blue. Um, I guess I can paint that silver to make it look like the backside. 
since it's the back side of the arm but that looks pretty good like it is notice there's no Autobot symbol here but I will be putting one there to make it look just like the G1 cartoon have the nice headlights here some spring detail in here once again I said we have ro rubber tires um, and it rolls pretty good so it rolls real good um, all four tires are pinned nice engine detail here in the rear with the fans on top the seats are a gun metal color all right <clears throat> like true g1 style his head is in the rear but i think they could have brought something like have a little flap that came up from behind here and cover his head up so but i ain't gonna complain they gave us rubber wheels <laughs> That is better than anything. And I do have some Nick detailing here on the side there. Look like some little bit of QC error there. But other than that, it looks real good. The, I don't know if y'all can see that in there. Let's see, can y'all see that in there? There are some detailing. There's a sterning wheel detailing right there. You can see the sterning wheel right there on on the bottom because these are his feet so a little detailing in there and a lot of little dash yeah a lot of little dash work detail in there that is quite neat i like that a lot of like a lot of detail dash detail in there so yeah it's looking looking real good so yeah all right let's get up to some size comparisons gonna go right into it all right First up, we have Masterpiece Mirage. I forget which version is him. Here you go. Size him up with Masterpiece Mirage. Looks really good. Looks really good. So I say that, that could be a good size comparison. And we have Studio Series Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. So y'all can see how that looks there. And bring it in let's bring let's go and bring them in g1 beachcomber so we're gonna go ahead and transform him slide his arms in who remember this good old days good old days and there we have mr beachcomber <laughs> in g1 style so you see how that size comparison there many box came a long way. They ain't so many no more. They ain't they ain't many now. But the detailing on it is spot on. It's pretty much spot on. The little headlights up front. See the little headlights up front. Only difference he didn't he don't have his bumper, which it probably look cheesy without his bumper, so but there you go. So there you go, have that right there with his bump in. I mean, if you really want to look G1 style, yeah, take his bump off and just take this and tab the gun on top here. So you have the gun sitting there on top. So you still, he can look G1 pretty much looking, looking, looking right cute. Little G1 looking right cute with him. All right. All right, so, but we're going to go ahead and do a reverse transformation on this guy. Let's go on reverse transformation <laughs> G1 while we at it. And pop up his head, and there you go, G1. So we're going to reverse G1. We're going to reverse him, take out Paradise Parakeet. Gonna go ahead and separate the road cage right here. Also separate. Bring up the, the seats. Bring out the legs. Follow it in. Bring it back. Same thing here. Uh, slap that 
down, bring the roll cage forward, and there we have Mr. Beachcomber, which is, by the way, one of my favorite bots. And back in his robot mode, along with his G1 self. So there you go, looking really, really good. All right, my thoughts on this guy, man. They couldn't get it no closer. I mean, that that right there, this right here, is freaking G1 beach coma all the way. All the way. So, I mean, thank you, Hasbro, for doing this one right. Now, we just need for y'all to bring out the rest of them like this. Put rubber tires back on them. It was in the budget to put rubber tires on. I know y'all can put rubber tires on everyone else. But yeah, this right here, that is that is G1, 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 G1 all the way. All right. That's all I pretty much got to say about it. He is phenomenal. I love him. I love him. He's, he, is, he is great. All right. So, like I was, like I was saying, y'all pick this guy up he is a very very uh nice uh could be nice one to throw in y'all collections along with paradise parakeet you got to have a little bird he just ain't himself without his little bird all right remember we having this giveaway so let's th let's like let's subscribe for new subscribers let's subscribe and we'll have like i said we'll have that uh up um We'll say, we'll say, what is it, Ju? It's coming up July 4th. We'll say, we'll start, we'll give it away probably around, um, let's give it to June, July. Let's get to July 26th or something like that. The week of July 26th, and then I will announce the, the winner of the uh, giveaway. All right. As I always say, God is good all the time. TNT Neon Prime out. Be blessed.